brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today also Jesus continues his continue to explain to us his relationship with the Father. The Father and the Son. Jesus is completely filled with his love for the Father. Brothers and sisters, today we are very specially reflected on God's love for us. God who always look at us with compassion and love. The wonderful thing for our life is that we have a God who understands us. Very often people do not understand the love of God. That is why in our day-to-day -day life, when, there are, when we find difficulties and pain, we turn towards so much of, we turn towards worldly pleasures, worldly things. I read about two married women. Each is aware that her husband is in another relationship. Each is reaching out desperately for some source of comfort. One becomes an alcoholic and another becomes a glutton. Both of them go to the fridge. One eats and another drinks. The simple reason is that they are not loved by their husbands. They feel that they have lot they feel that they have no one to console them. And in their mind they have a lot of grudge, unforgiveness, and rejection. Because of these things, these people always are harm turned towards the worldly pleasures. My brothers and sisters, when people develop intolerable addictions in this world. There is a reason behind that. Very often that reason is lack of love, respect, dignity, appreciation. But my brothers and sisters, this world is a broken world. What I mean is that each and every person is broken in one or other way. Though we are created in the image and likeness of God, due to one or other reason, we are broken. There is no perfect human being in this world. We are all human beings. We are all created in the image and likeness of God. But because of our relationship with this world and different people, different experiences, in one way or other way, we are broken. The best solution in this world, especially people who feel that lot of rejection and lack of love and a kind of loneliness, the best thing is repent and turn towards the Lord. I spoke about two women who are addicted. One is addicted to food, other one is alcohol. The best solution for them is to tell their husbands to repent and come back towards the Lord. But very often it doesn't take place. Even though you go and tell these people, they do not understand. They do not understand that they are hurting so many people. Even though they understand, they are not able to turn. So the best thing is that the one who have got more grace, the one who has more faith, the one who has more light, let him turn towards the Lord. Let him turn towards the Lord. There is, there is no point in arguing with each other. There is no point in argument. There is no point in anger. There is no point in not talking with each other. Those who have got more light, let them approach the Lord. Let them receive the power of the Lord. Repent and come towards the Lord. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers multitudes of sins. First Peter, chapter 4, verse 8. A 
above all maintain constant love for one another for love covers a multitude of sins praise the lord praise the lord i spoke about these two women the ideal thing for them is that accept the situation turn towards the lord constantly take efforts to make to make their husbands aware that what they are doing is wrong but still people may not accept it but my brothers and sisters in love we can forgive in love we can understand in love we can help people you see that the prodigal son the gospel of luke we read the parable of the prodigal son the prodigal son what happened to him he left everything he left everything means that his portion he has taken he sold it and he went away he left his father he left his brother what he need was what his what he wanted was only the money only uh, the money that he wanted only the wealth he was not loving people he was loving wealth and money he went away after after spending all this money he could not find the real happiness which he had in his father's house which he had with the father so he thought that how the my situation is so bad i'm returning i'm returning towards my father my brothers and sisters the same thing happens with many of us we are frustrated we are frustrated lord because of a lot of problems we do not know what is to be done with our daily life but still we go on with this sinful attitude so christ tells each one of us come back towards the lord come back towards the lord the people who are with the lord they can do wonderful things if god is with you why do you feel that you are alone if god is with you why do you feel that you are an unwanted person if god is with you why why can why uh, how can you think that you are not accepted and you are a rejected person everyone is well accepted in the presence of god i read the story of a woman who had a very bad experience in her life the experience was this her husband was an alcoholic and she, he used to abuse her verbally and he used to attack her physically and very very difficult life she had and she had two children the woman worked very hard and she helped her children to get out of this house they had good education they went to the different country they went to different countries they had very good job and they end well slowly they forgot their mother the woman had the same life the woman the man used to come after drinking and he used to beat her and things were very bad one day the woman after so many years of her suffering so many years of her difficulties she was the woman thought i had to do something i have to do something i have to do something because she could not bear the pain she could not bear the difficulties she could not understand the meaning of life so first time she raised her hand to beat him he did not resist he had she had beaten her she had beaten him and the man was so sad she, uh, he went to his room the woman that the woman thought that this could give him a lesson but he did not learn any lesson from that after some time he he heard a, she heard a cry a cry for help from his room when she reached when she opened the room she saw that his his uh, her husband was trying to hanging on the on the fan somehow she called all the neighbors and she cried out for help she broke the door 
and with a knife she cut the rope and he was taken to the hospital at the time he they reached in the hospital this person died in the post mortem re report it was told that the person died not because that he he was he hanged but while they were cutting the rope the man fell on the floor and he had a severe injury on his head and he died now the whole story is changed the woman was arrested and she was brought for her husband's funeral and even is her two children who came away from far away they did not came to her they did not come the reason was that they thought that the mother killed the mother killed their father they did not they knew the all the experiences of her mother but still these children they could not believe that the her mother killed her their father so they did not come near her the woman was so sad and she had 12 years of prison life after that she came out then she came to a retreat center and she for a retreat and the retreat preacher who met her he was the one who wrote this who wrote this experience in one of his books and it is told that he she was she she came there without any hope she came there without any hope she said she had no one she had no one my brothers and sisters this the same thing which can which can happen to many of our lives there are occasions we also come we do not we also we also go out without hope we do not know where to go letter to romans chapter 8 verse 35 but letter to romans chapter 8 verse 35 we read who will separate us from the love of christ will hardship or distress persecution or famine nakedness or peril or sword the love of god always following each one of us she was given the letter to romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 35 and there she found that if god is with us nobody can what are we to say about these things if god is for us who is against us this word strengthened her this word strengthened her she received the love mercy and goodness of jesus she forgave all who falsely accused her and she committed her life to the service of jesus she found new meaning in her life so she joined with different people to preach the word of god try to help different people the the, the simple bible word it romans chapter 8 verse 31 this was the word who strengthened her and all this experience you can read in a book called we are more than conquerors a small book it's beautifully written the experience of the love of god my brothers and sisters while i was preparing this talk i was reading this book i think that this uh, the best thing that we can communicate to each other that god loves you god loves you that is why today's holy adoration we were very much focusing on god's love if you have that conviction of god's love my brothers and sisters no one in this world can defeat us no power in this world no human beings in this world nobody in this world can exactly defeat us because god is with us if god is with us who can be against us amen